Look at these flooded out cars. They need that tow truck. This is the scene in Burbank and in a lot of places, really. The pouring rain is making getting around tough, and a lot of cars are getting flooded. Police are shutting down roads because of the rushing water. KCAL Nice Christy Fajardo is live in North Hollywood, and those drivers were stuck in some pretty deep water, Christy. Yeah, I'm actually in Burbank, and where we are has been a real trouble spot. We're right next to Bob Hope Airport, and in the distance, we can actually make out that plane, that southwest plane that slid off the runway. If we pan in, you might be able to see it. It's beyond that FedEx plane to the left. And if we pan this way, I can show you also there are quite a bit of police cars here, and that's because that intersection over there flooded. And if we walk this way, this area about an hour ago was also underwater and you can make out the problem. There's a dip in the road and water pool, pools here and then drivers drive through not realizing how deep the water is and several got stuck. In fact, I want to show you this video. This is what it looked like a short while ago. We spoke to Ali Sagumian, who was the first person who got stuck. She says others tried to help her and also ended up trapped. She took out her cell phone and recorded. This is what she saw. We have that cell phone video. She says the water was rising quickly. There were even small waves. She says in all, about seven cars ended up stranded in the growing puddle of water at Vineland and Van Owen. All of a sudden, the, there was, since there were too many cars coming through, the water was getting more and more, and my car just stopped. And since I have a really low car, the water was all the way up to my door, and I didn't realize I opened the door. The entire water went inside my car. I literally felt like it was the ocean. <laughs> She was the first one trapped, and she was also the last one to be pulled out of the water. And all she says, she was there for about two hours. And, and police and um, also emergency response crews are very busy this morning because there have been so many trouble spots. But she tells us she learned a valuable lesson. She left soaked but safe, and she says she now knows you can never really tell how deep the water is.